Hello and welcome to part 5 of the series on computer networks. I hope you have watched the previous parts of this series. If not, you can always check out the link in the description. So today's topic of discussion is Internet of Things or popularly known as IoT. So let's start with the definition what Internet of Things mean. Internet of Things is a technology that connects the things to the Internet over wired or wireless connection. So let us try to understand it. Let's say you have a bulb at your home. This is the filament and the bulb is glowing, let's say. And you are controlling the bulb with the help of a switch. Now, this bulb is not connected to the internet. So what we will see? Say, we will say that it is a thing. But if you are able to control this bulb with the help of internet, then it will not become a thing it will become smart device so if normal things become smart devices then we say it to be a internet of things so in case of internet of thing the things becomes the smart devices therefore we are able to control those smart devices with the help of internet so let's see some of the examples of Internet of Things. Some of the examples are wearables, home appliances, smart homes, smart TVs, smart cars, smart scooters. So if you just have a normal digital or an analog watch which cannot be connected to the internet, then it is just called as a thing. But if you can control your watch with the help of internet, then it will not become just a thing. It will become smart devices and hence it will be a part of internet of things so home appliances home smart homes all this also comes under internet of things so if you just have a normal home where you have normal lights fans and all then it is called as a thing but if you are able to control all these normal appliances and even air conditioners also with the help of internet via certain devices then it will fall under the category of internet of things so by now I think you have got a brief idea on Internet of Things. So these are some of the app applications like smart grids, smart health, smart homes, smart cities, smart industries, smart TVs. All this comes under IoT or Internet of Things. You should note that we write IoT in the following form. We should not write IoT in short form in this format. Rather we should write it in this format. I is capital, O is small and T is in caps. So some popular fields in IoT applications. IoT is nowadays used in almost all walks of life. But the most popular use of IoT applications is in smart homes. See, And then the second most popular use of IoT applications is wearables. Now various smartphones are coming up in the market. So it will come under IoT sorry not smartphones smart watches then smart city has a market strength of 34 percent and so on now why now so all these technologies all these things could be connected to the internet since a long time but previously we saw all these technologies only in uh, hollywood movies and so on but now we can even see those from door to door means in case of normal persons also we can see all these smart watches smart homes and all so why now it has become so popular this is because of the following reasons so first reason is the cost of sensors have become very less so what is a sensor sensors are devices which are used to detect changes in an environment suppose there is a device iot device which is used to measure the change in temperature so it will be called as a sensor and if it can be controlled through the internet then it will be called as an IoT sensor so year by year the sensors are becoming cheap so more uh, so it has been morely uh, more widely accepted by the even the normal public so the second use is cheap bandwidth now all of you know that uh, let's say about two three years back the cost of internet was very high but now the cost of internet is 
very less with the uh, in india with the uh, network provider jio so as the internet is very cheap nowadays so it can be used for a wide variety of applications i already discussed what bandwidth is in the previous parts of computer networks and now also the processing cost has come drastically down next smartphones so one of the things with which you control the other things is the smartphones now as the cost of smartphones has reduced drastically and it has become accessible to the masses since the smartphones have become accessible to the masses now everyone can afford a smartphone and even control different different devices with the help of only the smartphone and an internet connection ubiquitous wireless covers now you need to know about the meaning of the word ubiquitous the meaning of the word ubiquitous is anytime or present anywhere okay so now internet is present everywhere at all at almost all parts of the globe so with the uh, wide coverage of internet so iot applications have also reached its present popularity now how the iot system looks so this is let's say the network or the common computer network so with the help of that network or just the internet various iot applications are being controlled so like in case of consumers and home the printers the washing machines the tvs all this can be controlled via iot devices the smart infrastructures can be controlled through iot devices security and surveillance now uh, if you suppose have a business you, and if you get some security cameras installed in that business even when you are at some other part of the world you can keep a track of your business from that part of the world without even visiting your location so all this comes under iot now you know that various smart cars has also come so it has wide use in transportation in healthcare retail industrial and other uses are also there this is how the iot system looks so if you pay keen attention to this diagram you can see that iot has entered almost every walks of our life that means almost every normal thing has become a part of the iot now how this iot infrastructure runs it runs on certain technologies let us try to discuss those technologies in brief so the first technology is rfid or radio frequency identification you should note it down radio frequency identification so what is rfid it is a technology that allows almost any object to be wirelessly identified using data transmitted via radio waves. So, if you are controlling something with the help of Internet of Things, those things should be identified. Now, how those things can be identified? Those things can be identified with the help of a tag, a tag which is installed in all the IoT devices. Okay, and those that tag is referred to as RFID. So as I gave the example of a bulb at the beginning of this session, so if that bulb is connected to the internet and if it is a part of IoT, it will have a tag and that tag is called as RFID tag. Okay, so these tags, they vary in cost uh, depending on their applications. So. If you have used certain automatic tools, I think it's not available in India yet, but if you have gone to some other countries, you will see, uh, see that in the tool gates, there are no persons. These tools, uh, they are deducted automatically. So they use RFID tag. If you have gone to some hotel which has certain automatic lock and key, then it also has a tag attached to the doors and in the uh, key also, those tags are known as RFID tag. Next is sensors. Obviously, if you have to sense these IoT devices in the surroundings, you need sensors. As I've already discussed, what is sensor? It is a device used to detect changes in our environment. 
and it is used to measure like temperature, pressure and various other things. Next, smart technologies. Various smart technologies has come up and with the help of smart technologies, uh, IoT has been used. Next, software. Various softwares has been developed so that uh, IoT applications can ra run smoothly. I'll discuss about the smart technologies and software in the upcoming slides. Efficient network connectivity. As you already know previously, we used only 2G, then came 3G and now it's the time for 4G. So over the years, the network connectivity and the bandwidth or the internet speed has increased drastically. And due to this increase in internet speed, we are able to control even the other things with the help of internet. Previously, internet was restricted only to computers. Then from computers, it came to smartphones. Now from smartphones, it, it is coming to all the normal other devices also. Now let's see what are the challenges and risks of IoT devices. There are certain risks. If you connect the normal things to the internet, there is a certain risk. So the first risk is the risk of security. The security is a little bit threat in case of IoT devices. Second is prone to cyber attacks and access by unauthorized intruders. If some unauthorized intruders gets access to your IoT devices, if even if they get access to only one device, they can control all of your other devices and all of your other devices will be at stake. So, which follows to the next point, unauthorized access to one device could mean access to all linked devices linked. So, if they are able to, if the cyber attackers are able to attack only your smartwatch, then and if with the same internet connection, different things like lights, fans and ACs, all these things are connected, then they will gain access to not only your smartwatch, but on also to all the other devices. So these are the challenges and risks which are associated with IoT. Now, these IoT devices are controlled with the help of certain virtual assistants. So let's see some of the popular virtual assistant. The first virtual assistant which was developed was by Apple and it was Siri. You can wake it up by Hey Siri. Next is, next uh, was developed in 2014 by Microsoft and it is Cortana. You can wake it up by Hey Cortana. Then in 2014, Amazon developed Ecos and the name of the virtual assistant is Alexa. And next in 2016, Google developed the Google Assistant. You can wake it up by OK Google. In 2017, Samsung developed Bixby and you can wake it up by Hi Bixby. I have all these virtual assistants with me right now. And out of all this, I can say that uh, Google Assistant is the best and uh, Bixby or the Bixby by Samsung is not the best. Okay, uh, but it's a personal choice. You can use any of this virtual assistant to control your IoT devices. Now, these virtual assistants are installed in certain devices. Those devices are called smart speakers. So the first smart speaker is the Google Home. If you have a Google Home in your house, then with the help of that Google Home, you can control various devices of your house, like lights, fans, ACs, refrigerators, etc. Similarly, the same purpose is served by Amazon Echo. The second is your Amazon Echo and the third is your HomePod. HomePod is by Apple. But all these three devices have almost the same use they are used to control different iot devices all of course you can also use those to listen to some music also now smart vehicles smart vehicles the it is a matter of pride for a country because tvs and torque 125 it is india's first bluetooth connected scooter it is also a so see if you buy a normal scooty or a normal bike it will just be a thing but now it is a smart device why because this device or this scooty will be able to track your last park location will be able to uh, track if some call comes in between you can just uh, see it in the screen it can even give you the directions and all so it is not just the thing it is a uh, this one 
smart device and it is a part of internet of things next is uh, this recently launched car or is hyundai venue so it has a technology called blue link technology with the help of blue link technology you can track your car suppose you go for uh, some event and you lock your car in the parking slot but after some time if some intruder comes and takes your car you will get a notification that your car is not in the parked location so what you can do from a different from the event itself from the party or itself you can immobilize your car so that and you also you can get the location the present location of the car so that you can track your car and various other features are there so these are examples of some iot devices next is this is a smart fridge actually it is very costly but uh, it serves the iot purpose now it will now without even opening your fridge you can see what things are there in your uh, fridge and if uh, suppose you buy some oranges and you, you have kept your oranges into in your fridge now you can give certain restrictions such that if the number of oranges comes below three it can send you some notifications and you can go and buy it from the market next so this is a samsung connected hub and it can be controlled via the bixby so even washing machines can be used with the help of iot the fridges and ac smart uh, smartphones and this speakers and various other things can be used with the help of iot so iot is the future so i hope you have enjoyed this session so let's meet in the next session thank you very much